that sentiment is definitely amplified here tonight. It's a safe place for people to be crying, where thousands proclaim who they are. This is what I was thinking about when I was telling you. Show them your fucking... <laughs> Most women do. My husband and I love love good beer, so this is the perfect yep. meld of it's it's pride and it's beer. Throughout the park, pride and beer. Long periphery, sheriff's deputies, police, and security are easy to find. We're really trying to balance what can we do to assure the community that yes, we have a safe environment while not having a fancy of blue that really Intimidate. Or potentially to threaten other parts of the community. Dad Belton, executive director of Twin Cities Pride, expects visitors will be at Loring Park in record numbers this weekend. Better be. This less than two weeks since the Orlando massacre. I think that we're going to see a lot of hugs and a lot of mixed tears. The extensive show of support serves to prove one thing love always wins. This year we're here for no, people don't. that they really need to be here just to heal. Tomorrow, more than 100,000 people are expected to stop by Loring Park. And Sunday, up to 200,000 people could be here inside Loring Park between the parade and the last day of Twin Cities Pride. Now, for a full list of events, go ahead and check out Fox9.com. Reporting live in Minneapolis, I'm Iris Perez. Karen, back to you in the studio. All right, big weekend. Thank you, Iris. Well, just a few days after Fox 9 revealed.